In the last episode of my renovation of my 1813 ship captain's home, windows and doors arrived from Mid Cape Home Centers and Longfellow Design Build started the installation. I talked kitchen with Longfellow Design Build, talked media and sound with Vineyard Home, J&J Woodworking started on the counter for the wet bar, we checked out landscaping plans with Davis Land Design, and Marion Fence started pulling out the granite posts. I also had a conversation with the head of school at Tabor Academy. Home Life and Style is brought to you by The Pine Hills, offering inspired new homes and daily adventures just 45 minutes from Boston. Snow and Jones, a fixture in New England homes since 1952. Classic Tile and Stone, your tile and stone destination. Vineyard Home, elements for a fine home, including fireplace, music, video, and automation. And South Peak, your ultimate four-season resort on Loon Mountain. I'm Parker Kelly. Welcome to Home Life and Style. <laughs> I am passionate about design, food, and travel. I love discovering new places, meeting new people, and sharing who they are, how they live, and what they love. In each episode, I'll introduce you to a new destination through the eyes of the people who call it home. Join me as we celebrate these towns, these people, these homes in style. This is the fifth episode of this eight-part series on the renovation of my 1813 ship captain's home. In this episode, Longfellow Design Build works on the framing, insulation, and plaster. Move my shed moves our shed to a better location. I talk more design with surroundings as fabric and wallpaper start arriving. Melinda Eaton of Melinda Eaton Drapery visits the house and I visit her workshop and I tour some scenic, protected areas with the Sipican Land Trust. This is Home Life in Style. Let's go. After the demo is done, it's time to build. Longfellow Design Build starts the framing, insulation, and plaster. Every day, transformation is happening. The site of our shed off the deck, in my opinion, was just not working. We decided instead of tearing it down, we'd move it. Yes, there is such a business that does this. The company who did it for us is called Move My Shed, a perfect name. We tried a couple of locations, but it never looked straight from all angles. We finally found a spot, and it was quite a sight to see the shed trekking down Front Street. For now, moving it was good enough. Someday, I'll make it pretty too.
brought joy to share with you in my arms. Just a little hug every day will solve your problems. I've got love to share with you in my pocket. Just a little kiss on your lips and we'll skyrocket. Hey, Dylan. Need a fresh new look for your kitchen or bath? Snow and Jones can help you get there. We've been located on the South Shore in Cape Cod since 1952 as a family business, so it's given us a long time to establish roots and a good reputation. We really try to train our people on style and design as well as the technical aspect because missing one or the other can really throw everything off. So uh, they have great insight. We really can take all those pieces together and create that full project. Start your Snow and Jones project today. During one of my many visits to surroundings, to either select wallpaper or fabric, or to pick up wallpaper or fabric, I stole a chance to sit down with the owner, Nicole Klein, and talk about the busy business of beautiful things and beyond. Oh, I'm glad I got you for a minute. Happy to be here, Parker. I know you're We're always busy. Very busy, but we are thrilled to be working with you, and of course, we can always make time for you. All of the vignettes you have set up, all these spaces, are all so unique and yet so pretty, too. We had such a talented design team. Surroundings Interiors is almost a 20-year-old business. Myself, having remodeled several homes and you know knowing the process and the challenges, I'm like, I would love to have a resource where I could come and look at wallpapers, fabrics, you know, different levels of furniture. And so that's where sort of the design studio was born. And we renovated the space and we opened this in about the middle of 2021 and been going full force ever since. So you're partnering with other designers coming we in and are. using your resources and you kind of work together. Exactly. So we're kind of considering ourselves a boutique design center in the South Coast and a resource for the local designers to help them grow their business, help them do the stuff that they're good at, which is the design, the relationships with their clients, and let us help them with all the business operations. And that's sort of where my background comes in. So the gallery is the framing aspect of it. It's called the gallery part. Yep, they're all local and there really is a, a group of incredibly talented artists around the area. And we look forward to you know continuing to focus and feature you know more and more. And, and give them a chance of exposure. So nice. Well, I'm very happy to be working with you guys, and I know it's going to be brilliant and beautiful. It's going to be really great yeah. when it's done, once you finalize your selections. I mean, your vision yeah. and what you're doing and the fact that you're so dedicated to work within the community, we couldn't be more grateful to be a part of it and excited you know, on this endeavor. And number one, we want the end result for you. You're going to be living in it. We want you to be happy. Can't say anything better than that. Thanks so much, Nicole. Thanks, Parker. I know you have work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Understatement Always. of the year. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Melinda Eaton was raised in Mattapoiset, the next town over and she's been on the South Coast her whole life. She's a humble bundle of talent, from fabricating, bedding, and bolsters, to drapes and Roman shades. This woman can create anything with fabric. I invited her and her assistant to the house to talk about my window treatment projects. 
Yeah, so I, I ordered some fabric okay. that is uh, very, very, very similar mm -hmm. um, to this. Okay. And um, I was hoping to see if we could do something in the kitchen window. Sure. That's the first thing. Okay. And, and I don't really need any privacy. Right. But I want something that looks mm -hmm. pretty. It's okay. Uh, well, you have the pattern over there. Mm -hmm. So, and if you have a similar pattern, I think what works really well is a, what we call a pleated balance. It's a flat face mm -hmm. with a little bit of pleat, and that way we can choose one of the scenes you want to um, accentuate. So I guess balances are still in, in vogue. Oh, balances yes. are perfect because yeah. it gives you some color, but it doesn't take away from the light, and especially if you don't want to really have to raise and lower it and, and you don't need any privacy right here, I think balances are perfect. So this room I would do inside mount because the trim is really pretty and then you'd have a break between the wallpaper and the fabric of the windows. Oh, that's really a good point. I like the break. You know. Yeah, I see what you're, so I see what you're saying. Yeah. Why don't we do, it's it's called a relaxed Roman shade. It has kind of a smile. It's a soft oh. curve to it. So it adds you, because you've got a lot of lines with the wainscoting and everything in here and it would just be a really pretty soft line. I can really picture them. Can you? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, so the fabric for this, Yes. has a pattern it does. to it. Yep. So it'll be interesting to lay it out and see what we want to do with it. Yeah, I never really thought of, of doing that. So once it comes, I come to your yes. shop and then we'll work on it We'll together. figure out where the best thing is to do it and I'll show you how I figure out how, how to place it. A short while after Melinda's visit, she invited me to her workshop to not only see where her creations are created, but to finalize some very important details. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm excited, actually. Good. This is your dining room fabric. It is. Do you like it? Does that. it matter if you like it? It helps if I like it. Yeah. It's pretty, right? The colors are mm -hmm. really pretty. It's gorgeous. And it's got just a lot of sort of things going on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so you said, you know, you picked it up from surroundings mm -hmm. and then you called me over. Right. <laughs> so what I have here, because sometimes it's really difficult to um, envision. Mm -hmm what we want because we talked about this is going to be your dining room and it's going to be about 18 inches long so what i do sometimes because it's a lot easier is i take this piece of lining that i have it's called linen it helps me visualize what's going to be shown mm -hmm. what it's i like kind of, it's kind of uh, translucent a little bit so yeah that you can I mean, see so you can like really see paper. it yeah so what I, I what i'm trying to look for is um a balance mm -hmm. something that i mean i like this person in here mm -hmm. and then this and I think the design looks really good. So this is your toile. We talked about your toile mm -hmm. for the kitchen. Yes. And that was another thing I want to be able to look at. So I guess in here, mm -hmm. I guess it really, you're going to get the whole repeat because we're doing 16 inches. Right. So with this, I would try to find something I would want to have on the top just because I like things, I don't like them cut off. Well, you love what you do. I do love what I do. But amazingly enough, I've been doing it for 34 years, which is amazing. You today. still like it because every project is different because you yes. love to see the results. It's worth all, all of that the effort. All of that. Every project is different. It's going to be great. Yay. Yay. And I'm excited. Good. And, and thank you. Thank you again. I've worked with Christian and Julie for about seven years now, for about 30 projects. They care as much as I do about the finished product. And every time I walk in, I'm always like, girls, what do we have new? And they always have things set aside to show me. And it's, every time I go there, it's so exciting. They text me pictures as soon as Tile comes in that they think is really exciting. Like, on, even on a Saturday, I'll get a text. And they'll know that I'm just as excited to see it as they are to share it. And so they're, they're my go-to. Recognized and respected. Classic Tile and Stone on Boston's South Shore. At Longfellow, we have a constant need for quality materials and supplies. Knowing Mid-Cape can commit their best to us means we can commit our best to our customers every time.
With winter still at bay and our landscaping design by Davis Land Design approved, it was time to plant. One of the sweetest things Cap has done for me, for every home we've ever owned, is plant bulbs. He plants exactly 111. If you believe in such things, the ones symbolize new beginnings. I find it sweet and romantic. Susanna Davis from Davis Land Design brought the bulbs over and showed me her secret scientific way of placing them so they look natural. Sorry. So, yep. I want to show you our very exclusive um, <laughs> scientific way to spread bulbs. And I learned this from my design teacher at Radcliffe many years ago. And she asked us to pay very careful attention to her method. So okay. we have two guys. We have yeah. the big, bold, yellow King Alfred, and they're going to pretty much dominate the whole thing. Okay. But we have a few, about a third, or maybe between a quarter and a third, of these very delicate, wispy white things that will dance. I want you to pay close attention. Okay. Okay? Yeah. These are big, so I can only get two bundles in my hand. Okay. And I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right. So. So that, that's your strategy. This is my strategy. And this is from a professor. This is professor at Harvard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we want it to be random. Yeah, we're gonna just <laughs> we're gonna have this fun. Is, this is the method. Yep. So, has anyone ever seen you do this and wonder what the heck you're uh, doing? Certainly not on TV. <laughs> All right, throw. Oh, perfect. With the measuring for the wet bar counter done, I went to J&J's shop and home to see where the magic happens and talked to John about the business and his passion for woodworking and, um, chickens. Well, this is cozy. Yeah, it is cozy. So this is kind of uh, my collage of work. I mean, I've got a live edge table there. Yeah, uh, beautiful. A little live edge bench. Actually, that came out of uh, Wareham. Beautiful. Yeah. And so this is kind of where you show, and then you have another shop where you obviously get a lot of sawdust and things around. Yes, I have a bigger shop in the back where all the work is done. And then uh, this is more of an area where it's clean. So I feel more presentable up here to come up here and talk to customers and, and, and show things. And are you pretty clean right now? Is this, this, is, this, is, <laughs> this is pretty clean. <laughs> Usually it can get worse than this. So I, you know, I, I like to keep local, like everyone supports me local, so I like to keep local and keep my stuff in the area, so. But if somebody would bring something to you, you, you you're you happy to? Oh yeah, I get stuff from everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I have customers from Arizona, I have customers from well, Boston, New York. And it's not a hobby, it is your job. It's it full-time job, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> my wife doesn't want it to be seven days a week, some, some weeks it is seven days a week, I am here. But I love it and I wouldn't change what I'm doing now for anything. Yeah. My wife has been very supportive. This would never happen yeah. if it wasn't for her, because, yeah. you know, we went through some tough times at the beginning to, to get the doors open, to get things moving, and, and she's been very supportive. <laughs> so yeah, this it's pretty modest in here. I mean, it's not huge, but I make a lot of things in here, and, you know, most of the times it works well, because the door size is actually a door size in a normal house. So mm -hmm. if I can get it out my door, okay. I know I can get it in your house. Okay. So. <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> and it looks like you have every tool that you need. Yeah, everything. Uh, a lot of it is hand tools. A lot of it's, you know, hand planers. Right, and, wow, that's quite a collection of hand planers. carving tools and chisels and, you know, 
So I bring in piece by piece. Usually the most I do at, a, at one time is two pieces at a time in here. Uh, the finished room accommodates one piece at a time, so I can't really build, 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 because then I'll have a stockpile. Okay, well, thank you, John. Yes, you are welcome. A short while later, John from J&J &J Woodworking called me and said the counter was done, and so we set up a time for the installation. Are you excited? The moment of truth is here. <laughs> are you excited or are you dated already by all the work you do? All right. All right, ready? ready? Yeah. Looks like it. Woo! Oh, baby, you are beautiful. Look at this. This is the part we were talking about. Oh, this is beautiful. This is old wood. Yep. Yep. Probably 300 years old. Well, you, see, that's the whole thing is that the house, it gets 100 years, 20 years old. That's fine, but the tree is actually older than that yes. before it was milled. So you're probably looking at a 300, 300 year old tree. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that there's just a piece of that like showing. Yep. yep. It'll be integral and beautiful and it looks amazing and it's the real deal, wood yep. holes and all, and the real knots, and you were able to save it all. And we appreciate the opportunity of doing the project. So. Yeah, well, I appreciate you guys. It, it's, mm. it's, Stunning. I'm sure you'll have lots of coffee casts. <laughs> this town of Marion is so pretty, and the people who live here care about preservation. But I had yet to visit some of their conservation land. I made a bid at the Sipican Land Trust auction to have a personal tour with board president Alan Harris. To date, the Sipican Land Trust has protected more than 1,300 acres, 15% of the town's land. There he is. Hello. Hi, Alan. Nice Hi. to see you again. Nice to see you, Parker. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming and, and sharing our places. Uh, the Sipican Land Trust is uh, a uh, non-profit member supported, 1,400 acres, give or take a little bit, that we have protected in Marion, which is a pretty small town, and many of them have trails on it. And so I think that's what we're going to do today is go show you one of our, our trails. This one in particular we're very proud of because it has an accessible boardwalk on it. And so uh, people are allowed to walk on it, yes. picnic on it? Yep. As long as they take their trash out, please. it's fine. Yes, yeah. Yeah. and walk your dogs and take your dog waste out too. <laughs> and, and so do you know how the Sipican Land Trust started? In 1974, and it was a small group that wanted to protect some back land and make sure it was protected. A lot of interest in the environment in the early 70s, and this was you know, a positive thing to do in their own local town. Yeah, yeah. so how did you get involved? Um, I've been involved probably since the 2000s, and I am an educator, so I was teaching at the local museum. We have a museum above our library called the Marion Natural History Museum, and I was taking the kids out to these properties. And it was just an amazing resource this small town had, was all these really diverse areas were protected. Yeah. We don't want to forget that as adults you still need that connection to the real world yeah. and, and that connection to nature, the same trail over and over again. You're gonna see it change through the seasons and you really feel more alive that way. So this is called? This is Osprey Marsh. Uh, Osprey it was, Marsh. It was donated by the Smoyer family mostly. Um, and we have raised nearly um, $250,000 to pay for this accessible boardwalk through a wetland area. Very high-tech uh, piers that allow us to build without doing much damage. Wow. Um, Kids, uh, all generations, you get grandpa and the grandkids and in a stroller, they all can be on this trail. Uh, my own dad, you know, needed a little bit of oxygen towards towards the end. And there were very few places we could walk that he felt comfortable. The mall has some disadvantages to it, you know, not quite so attractive. Uh, but this is a, this would have been wonderful to, to have gone for a walk with him. Next time on Home Life and Style, I meet up with artist Carrie O'Donnell at her studio. We begin tearing down the dilapidated deck and ramp. Southworth Landscape Design and Construction rips up and removes our tired asphalt driveway. 
I talk wallpaper installation with David Janess and learn more about Elizabeth Tabor from longtime Marion resident Wendy Bidstrup. Stay tuned. <music>